another day another vlog it's my nose oh my god that's the thing about having a septum piercing is it's gonna be fucked up all the time anywho um it's that time of night i'm about to take a shower and then change out of my super cute black pearl shirt and instead either put on a fourth wing one or a harry potter one because i'm streaming tonight and i just want to feel all fresh and cozy for the stream because it's probably gonna be a long one. Oh, i don't need this on anymore I think this is the look for tonight. I was gonna get like all dolled up for the stream, but I was like, you know what? For what? I don't want people watching just because like of how I look good that one night. Like, cause I'm not gonna look like that every single night. You know what I mean? I have shitty done eyeliner at this time of day. I have frizzy hair. Like this is just what the fuck I look like. So if that makes men not want to watch it, then oh well. <laughs> yeah that's pretty much my thoughts on that but i am excited for the stream tonight i'm also like nervous because i'm not playing sims and a lot of people are like if you're not playing sims i don't want it but i'm playing a new game that a lot of people have recommended well new to me game Baldur's Gate 3 and a lot of people have recommended that I play it and they think that I would just love it so I hope I do I got some drinks for tonight I got my blanket washed I'm just like I'm excited to hang out and try something new let's go I have to do a couple things before I stream I need to eat I need to put a shirt on um I need to make a loading screen which I should have done earlier in the day y'all don't care about any of this let me just shut the f let me just go get it done okay okay so last night I played Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time. If you're like, what is Baldur's Gate 3? I didn't know anything about, oh my God, I just realized my porch lights are on. My dog, I don't know what to do with him because at my old house, he really loved the yard. And um, there used to be other dogs where we lived too. And so he got to play with him outside all day long. And now he's just like unhappy at all times. Like if he's outside, he's barking. If he's inside, like right now, he's barking so i just like i don't know what he's depressed my dog is depressed i think if you hear him just you would think somebody's beating him right now no but if i put him outside he's just gonna bark until i let him back inside and then come inside and hear him bark i just don't know i don't even know anyways Baldur's gate three I guess, I don't know if there was a Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, I would assume so, but I never heard about them, uh, but Baldur's Gate 3 has been super popular, and apparently you don't need to know anything about Baldur's Gate 1 or anything like that to play Baldur's Gate 3, you can play it all on its own, so a lot of people recommended I play it, right, they said it's like a fantasy game, but they said it's based on Dungeons and Dragons, I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, so I was like, hmm, I don't know how this is gonna go, and there's supposed to be this really, like, attractive, elf in there and also you're supposed there's a like there's like nudity in there and woohooing and things like that and like building relationships with people and apparently there's it's like i'm playing story mode but there's an online mode too where you can play with other people right got it played it last night on stream it feels kind of like a boy game in a way but it's not quick little tangent about uh Baldur's Gate 3 Anyways, you're sitting on my laptop right now. I'm about to work on a little bit of writing while I can before I need to get the rest of my day started. I'm getting an urge to want to go to Sally's and dye my own hair, but I don't know. We'll see. For some reason, I have developed this gym anxiety that I did not have before. Um, I was going to the gym like every single day for a while and like months and months. And now out of nowhere, I haven't been to the gym in three weeks. And I just I cannot get myself to go. I don't know why. Um, and for the past couple months, I've started to eat like shit compared to how I was eating before. I was eating like very clean before. And now I just kind of eat like whatever I feel like. That being said, I think maybe if I go to the park today and try to get myself outside in the sunshine or cloud shine, whatever's going on outside, maybe I'll feel better. I might either walk or jog, whatever I'm feeling up for. Um, I'm currently wearing my Iron Flame shirt that one of my followers, Courtney, sent me. And I'm about to change, I slept in this. I'm gonna change into my fourth wing shirt that Amanda sent to me um, and put on some exercise worthy clothing. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the gym. I did a little walk jog. When I got home earlier, I took the cat it was like damn near three hours long and you're like bitch that's not a nap that's sleep i know um anyways 
uh, ordered some um, sushi and stuff. I it smells really spicy. I just got into my sushi journey. I don't know if I'm really gonna like this to be honest, but I hope so. I want to like sushi so bad. So we'll see. I think I'm just gonna eat it on the stream to be honest, because I don't think anybody's gonna mind. If they do, I'm sorry. This is all trash. And it says it says trash travels. Nobody wants to find garbage at the beaches. Aw. It's a big trash turtle. Is it just me? Or these turtles look relaxed as shit. The aquarium and reptile center. I saw that thing over there for kids to climb on. It looks kind of dangerous, but I don't know. I found turtles eating lettuce. Tortoises. Tortoises. They do eat lettuce. I'm back home, bathed and in bed in my jammies watching the new live action avatar the first episode so far so good interesting um i think i'm gonna watch the whole first episode and then maybe do a little writing i've got my wax melter going over there very cozy vibes i love it so while i'm getting my stuff ready for the day let's talk avatar shall we it got put on netflix the other day i watched the first two episodes last night one of my brothers was saying that uh, he thought that it was like they rushed the storyline and blah, 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 uh, but overall, like the actors were good and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay. So, and he was like a big a Avatar person. Now me, I watched Avatar, yeah, as a kid, for sure. I actually love the name Katara so much that I think if I ever had a daughter, I would name her like my favorite girl names. Are, first of all, one of my favorite girl names was Violet prior to reading Fourth Wing. And now that I've read Fourth Wing, I like the name Violet even more. But um, I love the girl names Rainies, which is from House of the Dragon. Um, Rainies, uh, Violet, and I love the name Katara. So, if I ever have a daughter and her name's Katara Rainies, you know why. I don't know, I just love like nerdy names <laughs> anyways so at first it was all a little cringe i'm not sure if it was the acting or what i would say my favorite like actor so far in the show is katara this girl's name is so she's a canadian actress i do not know how to pronounce her name kia lintio um i love uh the uncle Oh, also, Sokka, everything down to his facial expressions are pretty um, spot on. I think the script in the beginning is a little cringe because they're trying to do so much explaining. And I, at first, I was judging his acting for it because, I, you know, he's like, you know, I'm, you know, I have to protect this village, Katara, and I have to do this and blah, 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 blah. And it's like he's explaining the storyline through his, like, few sentences, basically. And it just seemed kind of cringe at first. But I realized afterwards, I think that's really more so the writing and how they're trying to, like, set up the story in the first episode. So, yeah, the first episode was all, like, you know, a lot of information, a lot of, you know, setting the scene. And I think that made some of the actors look cringe. But the second episode, I got to more so enjoy their acting. And the guy who plays Sokka, which now I see is Ian Ousley. Ousley? I don't know really like him and the second episode was really good honestly it kind of like sold me on the show so let me stop talking about avatar and get to freaking work um i've got my coffee i'm gonna keep drinking this and get some work done and we'll see if i go to uh jujitsu today or not i'm just ugh, i feel so anxious about it i don't know why i feel anxious because now everybody else in my class is like several weeks ahead of me you know i'm i'm gonna be the worst today and for the next few weeks if I start going again. And it's hard being the worst. It's hard being the worst is something that I'm already insecure about. <laughs> so, yeah, but let's just go. I did it, I went to class. Today was a uh, very technique heavy day. So exercise wise, like, I mean, it wasn't like super cardio heavy is what I'm trying to say today. And so that's why my face isn't like super red. Um, it was an enjoyable day. It was a good day to come back.
um it was a lot of like new techniques and stuff so everybody was on the same pace and there wasn't any rolling today which is like whenever you're going against somebody else we we're all just learning and i'm really glad i um just went back i'm really glad and if you've been thinking about starting jujitsu or uh any type of exercise going to the gym or anything i hope this inspires you that i feel better now that i just went i really just feel better now that i just went so let's go home and get the rest of my work done i'm done with my work today a little bit early surprisingly since i went um and got exercise done too so my sister wants to go get dinner large queso please <laughs> and a diet coke happy birthday i just did a stream that was super successful it may or may not be the next day um i'm about to go work out and then i need to go to walmart and get some things um but let me go do my workout really quick all right so i'm back home from getting my groceries i ended up getting way more stuff than i meant to get um i'm gonna show you a couple of the things i'm excited to try i would show you every single thing i got but that would probably be boring as fuck so let me show you the stuff i'm excited to try First of all, I found this matcha powder. It's the Jade Leaf uh, Matcha Latte um, Premium Barista Crafted Mix. It's plant-based, dairy-free, um, organic, all that good stuff. I love matcha. I used to get it all the time at Starbucks, but, you know, now I haven't been having it. That being said, I want to make it at home. Now, it says on the back any milk for this. Um, if I were to drink whole milk, I would shit myself. So I got this. It's the Planet Oat Milk Unsweetened Original. Um, zero grams of sugar, 45 calories per serving, and it doesn't have dairy, peanuts, gluten, or soy. The second thing that's new that I've never tried before is this Kodiak... Um, uh, protein uh oatmeal 12 grams of protein per serving i don't eat a lot of protein because i don't like meat that much uh, which is probably so stupid but i like chicken i like chicken a lot and i'll do like the chicken sausage stuff um but i in general like don't love meat i don't know why but more protein and other forms would be awesome for me anywho i'm gonna put up the rest of my groceries and i'm about to try make some iced matcha i'm so excited I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like this better than getting it at Starbucks. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you, girl. Bye!